We're going to go to consumer power outages yeah, now. Yeah, switching gears. We know about 150,000 people are without power right now across West Michigan. We are joined yet again by Consumers Energy via Zoom. Brian Wheeler joins us. So, Brian, let's talk to you about how long it's going to take to get power restored to these folks in West Michigan. Yeah, you can see if you look at our online outage map, the work has started. Uh, this morning we were assessing the damage, trying to get the best information and handle on the situation. And uh, the work to begin power power restoration has begun. Uh, we've the we've seen the total start to come down a little bit. We're at about 145,000 without power now. That work's going to continue today, tomorrow, and, and into Thursday. Well, glad to hear about those improvements. I know you've mentioned potentially maybe getting some help from other crews, maybe from other states. Even could that help with speeding up those restoration efforts? Absolutely. You know, we've we put the word out getting power back on is a priority, particularly with this uh, summer weather. Of course, uh, we have over 200 crews that are from consumers energy and contractors in state right now that are working on the system. We put the word out to others in the state and from out of the state and hopefully later today we'll have some good news in terms of more resources that are getting power back on. Brian, let me ask you this. Uh, how do you guys determine what resources you're going to send where? Obviously, you can kind of look at the outage map and see what communities right. are hit harder than others. But is there, um, you know, priority that you place over some communities versus others? What does that look like and how's that process work for you guys? Yeah, there is always a process when it comes to this. We always focus on those priority customers first. You think about those who are more vulnerable, senior centers, nursing homes, hospitals, also our public infrastructure, police and fire stations. From there, we try to get the most folks back the quickest. If you can make one repair that gets you back a thousand people, for example, that becomes a priority. Um, but, you know, we've seen outages in the west side of the state. We've seen them in the northeast part of the state as well. And we do have crews deployed to both areas as well as others in between. So. Geography is always a challenge, but we work to get those outages restored quickly and then move the crews right back into place to keep going. And just one more question, Brian, before we let you go, I know you mentioned this in our last half hour, but again, wanting to warn people to keep an eye out for those down power lines. You've mentioned you've already gotten several reports about those. Absolutely. You know, it can be a disruption to lose power. We probably feel a little frazzled and that's understandable. So by all means today, slow down, take your time. If you see crews working, slow down as you're driving around them. If you see a down power line, stay at least 25 feet away and make sure that's being secured or call 211 and call Consumers Energy. All right, Brian, thank you very much. Uh, from Consumers Energy joining us live with an update. Uh, of course, they have their work cut out for them over mm -hmm. the next several days. Yep, in other news, this